those close to me know I enjoy beer. And even more specifically, I enjoy good beer. I even applied for an internship with World of Beer just a few months ago. Whenever I meet someone who says they don't like beer, I just tell them they're not beer curious enough. There's a beer out there for absolutely everyone. I didn't get it. I'm not sour though. So when I heard about Homebrew Day, I knew it was time to learn more about it. Matt and Nicole from Michigan Brew Supply were nice enough to have me buy for Learn to Homebrew Day. And I have to be honest, I was pretty impressed with the amount of activity going on. What, what does a day like today mean um, to you, or like what is what is National Homebrew Day or Homebrew Day uh, to you at least? It, I mean, it's it's a few different things. I mean, one, it allows us to kind of open our doors to the community of non-brewers. Let's invite everyone else um, because it is very intimidating from the outside looking in. You know, you you walk in off the street, you get people that are walking downtown, and they're like, "What the heck's going on?" You see some of that equipment that's out there, and you, you're intimidated by it. But I can say, hey, do you want a sample of beer? As soon as I do that, we're friends. So this is a beer that you actually brewed. I'm gonna try it here. Wow, I could really get into this. This is good. So what would you say to somebody thinking about home brewing for the first time? Do it. <laughs> it's fun. Very cool. And you have your own beer. If you like beer, you should try it. It's a lot easier than it looks. It's not a difficult thing to do. And if you like beer, you can pretty much dial in whatever flavors you want easy it's you know it doesn't cost a lot um, so we get to bring those people in we get to introduce them to our passion um, and it's it's kind of the whole like teach a man to fish type of thing that's that's all it is you know we set you up for success you go and make it and we kind of form that long-term relationship based off that now what do you think about the fraternity and how welcoming everyone is in the craft beer industry or the craft beer community and how do you feel about that um, I think everyone's very welcoming and always willing to share the, the tribal knowledge that they've gained over their period of brewing. It's it's very open. It's very welcoming. In today's society, you don't get that a lot. Everyone's cutthroat. In the brewing industry, it seems to be complete opposite. Well, I mean, you know, you got one thing in common, right? Beer, so I think that's true whatever your hobby is. You got something in common, you talk about it. But yeah, everybody likes to talk about their beer, what they do, their equipment, and tasting beers. So yeah, it's fun. We get to know our customers very intimately because we we see them through their brewing process and how they grow as brewers. They start with the beginner kits and whatnot, and a, you know a year later they come in and they're doing all these fancy all grain batches. And we know that history. We've helped them build those recipes. We know their beers. I mean, it's it's kind of very like you know it's like the circle of life. We help them with their recipe, and then a month later they bring it back in to share it, and we get to talk about it. It very much has kind of like a bar like atmosphere. You know, we get to know people I always say you know, pull up to the bar and we, we sample these beers so you know it's kind of a fraternity but it's also very welcoming um, it's not intimidating at all uh, that's something we strive to kind of convey and although big beer companies tend to reign supreme Matt doesn't necessarily think that that means that the craft beer industry is going to be on the decline anytime soon there's a lot of lot of unknowns, but the, the, the cool thing about craft beer, it's very anti-establishment. It's very let's go against the grain. You know, it's part of my stuff French, but it's like it's big man's and it's it's we're gonna do it our own way, so there's no stopping it. You know, the train's gonna keep <laughs> chugging along, regardless of there's you know, if there's no shelf space at Walmart, oh well, it's not gonna it's not gonna hinder the growth, I don't think. Now, do you think you have to be a very experienced brewer to brew a good beer? No, I don't think so. I mean, there's so many good kits out there these days, and you know, as long as you follow some basic procedures and keep things clean, you can make a pretty decent beer your first batch. At all. There uh, was a last, I think it was last year, somebody had only brewed like once or twice and won the local competition. So it, it, it's that right there shows you don't need to be very experienced. So I guess you could say with a lot more confidence supplied by the great people at Michigan Brew Supply, 
I was able to head home, hold my head up high, and brew a batch myself. It smells fantastic. Uh, once again, thank you to Matt and Nicole down at Michigan Brew Supply for having me. It was a great time, awesome event. Uh, make sure you check out their website. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, for now, I'm just gonna get back to brewing this beer, and um, we're gonna be able to try it really soon and say about four weeks. Now, if you're looking to more, learn more about home brewing, make sure you go down in the description. I'm gonna make, make sure I link everything from Michigan Brew Supply. Make sure to check them out. Thank you.